Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Caddy's Corner. I showed you this vlog yesterday, it's Sunday. Yep, it rained for like four hours last night, so all the snow is gone. That happened. Um, actually, maybe a good thing though, because apparently the temperatures are really gonna be crashing, and if snow gets packed down by people walking on it, and then it freezes, it's uh, very treacherous. So, that's where we are today. Um, I've been thinking a lot of the patterns in my life that led me to crisis in relationships. Um, truth being that a crisis in a relationship is, was also a crisis for myself and of myself. Um, I have a lot of stories that I could tell um, about those moments. But truth of the matter is most of them involve a lot of detail and backstory that wouldn't, like just kind of leaping in at the end when it <laughs> crashed and burned, would leave you kind of like, what? So, I'm just gonna talk about one little situation that happened. And it was with an interior designer that I was working with. And it had been a long relationship, almost a decade. And um, right as things, I was just like, the pattern of me trying trying, trying to help the business, save the business, help her, save her, help myself, save myself. Like everything was mucked up in a thousand different ways. Um, we started to get into a lot of conflicts with each other. And I think we made, both made a lot of assumptions about the other person and what their motives or intent were. And we weren't communicating. And even when we did, it was a lot of her telling me what she wanted me to be and how I needed to uh, adapt myself to please her. And after a decade of that, I was like, not doing it anymore. And then I had one of those wonderful technological moments where you're ranting about someone who's making you mentally insane that day, and you're just letting it fly. And turns out you've accidentally hit the wrong person's name. Oopsie. And so they're reading what you're saying about them. Well, that was the end. Um, that was the end. We actually didn't talk about it because I was up working with her from out of town. And so it was like a week or plus where we just pretended like nothing had happened. And then as I was getting ready to close up to leave, I said, listen, it's obvious to me this is the end. And uh, she was like, well, can you help train in someone new and help me kind of close out the books? You know, I'm like, sure. I would love, yeah, I didn't want to leave her abandoned um, so I said sure and then when I came back for the next trip and was uh, training in someone that she had hired um, to do the work I had been doing anyway um, side note story I'll leave it there she said to me something that just seared my heart and it was I don't know why I ever paid you for anything. I don't know why. I don't know why did I waste one penny on you. Oh, and the amount of stuff I did for that woman for free. Ooh. And uh, maybe she was just a heat of the moment thing, but it certainly resonated with how she treated me. Um, did I get everything right? Nope in a very messed up place in my life right then. Continued to be for quite a while. But, uh... I think the reason that that has come up right now, and it, it, this might seem like an odd leap, but trust me, it makes sense. Journaling and meditation. That story that I just told of how it went south and what we said to each other and the lack of communication and the venom and viciousness and the disconnect and the time in and the um, lack of appreciation, the lack of gratitude, um, the lack of understanding, the lack of respect, the lack of trust. It was just lackety lack, lack, lack. Lackety lack, lack. And it was really traumatic for me. 
because we were personally very close and the loss of that friendship and those words that there's a lot of things that hurt me but that one particular sentence I don't know why I ever paid a dime for you like whoa okay um that was nearly 10 years ago maybe more I'm not even sure I don't know I don't even know because so much has happened since then but it's literally repetition a repetition a repetition a repetition a repetition and what's different this time yeah I go on YouTube yeah I'm reading books yeah I'm writing I'm doing these videos and I'm trying to share and let you know you are not alone and your experience doesn't have to be mine but I have yet to meet a person who hasn't resonated with someone being mean to them or taking advantage of them or having a lack of trust, a lack of appreciation, a lack of respect. That you're not all struggling with your own ego to something. Everybody's thinking in some way, shape, or form, I'm not enough. Because if you've got it enough together in your business and you are wholly successful financially propelling yourself forward and getting to the next and growing, I can guarantee you don't have a stable, happy... Um, relaxed and calm uh, home life and if you have that are you really getting a far in your career you can't listen I mean you can argue with me that I'm wrong about that but nobody can get it right in all the categories all the time that's that's not possible and there we land on the word of the day I guess perfectionism the interesting thing being that she and I were both perfectionists but we were coming at the world from two very different places and I thought we were a match to build success and we ended up being a match to failure so journal I write a lot I meditate I think a lot I'm reading and I'm listening so it's learn, 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 learn. That is learn about yourself, learn from others, learn. And we are all changing all the time, always. So my hope for today is that you keep looking to learn. If you want a pragmatic way to actually act forward in one way, it would be to journal. Easy to do, start off in the morning, da 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 da. After that, meditate any way that you can, even for just five minutes. If there's a body reaction, more and more and more scientifically, they're being able to prove because of better testing mechanisms now, that our body is our mind and that our gut matters. There's actually more, almost like half as many connections into our system as our brain. Bus is here, gotta go. Thanks for joining me in Caddy Land and have a great Sunday.